before they start, I just want to share a little, a little something um, to give you like a little testimony of what how God has been to me and how you know He changed my life in a miraculous way. Um, I really don't share this to people because you know when you know when you find when Christ finds you, it's very intimate and very. You kind of, I don't know if you were lost or kind of in this in this place, this really really dark place, and so. That's where I was. Um, God found me in this in this part of my life that you know I really don't like remembering, and I don't like to kind of you know go back upon just because I regret it. You know, like there's moments in my life where I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? You know, type thing. But unfortunately, it's 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 a part of my past. But yet, God used that past um, to to help me become who I am right now. And I'm very thankful for that, you know, because if it wasn't for those things in my life that happened and took place, I would never have found him. And I would have never known the beauty of who God and how wonderful his love is in my life and, and as well can be for yours. And the reason why OMG, from what I understand, is created, it stands for Open Mic Gathering. And it's a place where we share our faith. It's a place where we share God's love and God's greatness in our life. And the way God found me was, you know, I've, growing up, I, I grew up in a place where um, I, I, grew, I was raised in a Christian home. My mom and dad, you know, loved me very much. They were very involved in the church, sang a choir, did that whole thing. I went to Sunday school, you know. And I understood the whole Bible thing. I understood Jonah and the whale, Samson and Delilah. You know, you kind of grew up with those stories embedded in your brain. And how, you know, Jesus died on the cross, he rose again. But yet, it doesn't become real, you know. God's love does not become real until you understand it and how much he loves us, you know, and, and how much he cares for us in that sense. And I found God in, in a camp, you know, in a church camp, actually. He found me in a church camp. And I was really angry at the world. I was angry at the decisions I made. I was 18. I was 18 at the time, and, you know, that's when I really, really found God in my life, and how how God can be so amazing. And he took what all the decisions, decisions that I made and changed it. Um, the person who witnessed to me was a young pastor as well, and he was, um, he was a bad, bad person, I guess. He was a gay, he did the drug thing, he, you know, did a lot of things, and I was like, you know, if, if God could save him, and change him and make him into a pastor. How about me? You know, I'm not as bad as he was. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I did some bad things, but I mean, like, I wasn't, you know, comparing myself. But then God sees us all the same. It's either black and white. It's just, we're all sinners, but God made us into something new, into something great. And I'm so thankful that he sent him, that pastor, to my life. Because if it wasn't for him, I would never be who I am today. And I am a new creation in Christ, that I am his beloved, that we are his children, that he loves us so much that he died for us on the cross so that we can be here, fellowshipping with one another, loving God, and being ourselves because of Christ and because of who he is in our lives. And we do these things. We, we praise God. We worship God. We talk to him. We have fellowships with one another because of the fact that we want to praise and worship him all the time, every day, every minute. I mean, obviously, we can't do that. Our human nature, our... You know, our sinful selves wants us to just go out and party and have a good time and, you know, kind of forget God and kind of put him on the sidelines. But what we need to do is we always need to remember to put him first in our life. And I'm talking to myself because, I mean, there's moments, I mean, you know, you're working, you're going to school, you have all this, these things, these priorities, but always remember to put God first in whatever you're doing because without him, we are nothing. Without him, we can't. There's no reason to move on, you know, so... That's my little thing, and that's my, I guess, my testimony in a sense, too. You know, wherever you came from, wherever you came from, and whatever, wherever God changed your life, never forget that moment, and never forget, and don't ever forget that God is always with you from that point, from, um, from now and then until forever, until we finally meet him face to face and say, you know, thank you, Lord, you know, for, for loving me and for giving me the opportunity to love you back. And the beauty about God's love is that it does not depend on our love for Him, but it's just His love for us, and that's all. And that's all it is, you know. And that's the beauty. Of